Hey baby! I'm Ashley. I'm from Long Island, New York, and today I'm going to show you how to make a vanilla bean caramel apple tart. Thanks so much Julie, Dan, and everyone at Feed Feed for having me today. Okay, so here are the ingredients you need. Get ready to screenshot. Okay, so here are our apples peeled and you're going to cut each one into three lobes and you want to cut as close to the core as you can. Okay, so the next step is to get our sugar to caramelize. So I've got my sugar, water, and scraped out vanilla bean in a nice heavy pan. Okay, so once it starts to boil, that's good. I just want to keep it under 375 degrees uh, and don't stir it, otherwise it could get grainy. Okay, so once you start to see that nice amber color, you gotta act quickly so it doesn't burn. A uh, little tip, you wanna remove from the heat and submerge in an ice bath to stop the cooking process. Okay, so you're gonna remove your caramel from the ice, let it sit, uh, and then give your apples just a little quick saute just to release the juices and they'll shrink. And now you're gonna give your apples a good toss in the caramel, get it all coated. So I just sprayed this nine inch pan with a little non-stick spray and you're just going to lay your apples cut side up and you want to kind of tuck them closely. So I let this puff pastry just uh, defrost, it was frozen, you can also use uh, refrigerated and you just want to cut a circle a little bit bigger than the 9 inch pan. And now you're just going to lay it on top and kind of tuck the edges under and it's going to bake at 425 for about 25 minutes. So that 25 minutes was really just to get the puff pastry beautifully browned and now you're going to reduce to 350 and bake for 20 minutes more so the apples get nice and soft. Just out of the oven and you want to invert it pretty quickly uh, so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and I just sprinkled it with some cinnamon. Can't wait any longer so here goes. Oh yeah. So, so good, the crispy puff pastry and the soft apples. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you give it a try. So I do edit a few feeds for Feed Feed. So you can find this recipe and more details at cuococontento.com and you can follow along on Instagram uh, at ashcuoco.